Hey, any bash it is the 16th of August 2021. I sincerely do pray that you're well. I just put up a video on my other channel on Australian restrictions going on, which they will attempt to impose everywhere. And things beginning to happen here as well in that video. But the travel restrictions seem to be a theme I'm seeing this morning. This is my second video. Remember this. What you see in Israel, you will see here. That's when I believe we will see the real boot-on-the-neck lockdowns begin. You know what I mean? Which will, in fact, foment the rebellion. You know, the woke crowd, the so-called Christian patriot crowd, which are pretty much now openly targeted by DHS, mind you. But if you've been paying attention, the, the actual Patriot Act spelled it all out for us long ago. What their intent was. Well, now we are here, okay? And I believe people will not be able to travel safely, if at all very soon so please be prepared be where the lord leads you to be pray on these things are on countries with our talk about entry and the new quarantine procedures now at the moment there is effectively a universal quarantine for anybody coming into the country the universal quarantine is one full week in quarantine until two tests are negative for coronavirus um, whichever ends up being longer so you got to get the two tests to come out of your one week quarantine and those are still required to come out of the one week after the one week With that in mind, there are two exception categories to the one-week quarantine. There is the list of sort of green countries, that's 10 countries, from which you only need up to 24 hours of quarantine or the negative test. That's Austria, Australia, Hong Kong, Hungary, Taiwan, Moldova, New Zealand, China, Singapore, and Czech, uh, the Czech Republic. Now. That might be a list of 10 countries, but only three of those countries are allowing Israeli travelers to come to them. So they only have two-way travel with the Czech Republic, with Moldova, and with Austria at the moment. Now, there's another category, and that's the red category. Those are countries that Israelis are not allowed to travel to at all without generally a lot of extensive paperwork from the government. That's Bulgaria, Brazil, Georgia, Mexico, uh, Spain, and Turkey because of the high rate of coronavirus in those countries. Right now, they are trying to do everything to control stuff at the airport because they don't want to bring anything in, and that's going to involve phone tracking and a host of other policies to make sure that people aren't violating the quarantine this time around. The Israelis aren't all happy and joyous and going along with this either. The rebellion is growing there, too. Among the first to get the third dose were Israel's president, Isaac Herzog, and former Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Israel's decision is controversial, as the U.S. Food and Drug Administration has not approved the third dose, and the agency is typically the international standard for medical trials. Despite that, many Israelis are confident. I think that the reasonable thing to do is to be vaccinated against the COVID-19. If, you, if you, we, we should do the, the, the third vaccination and even the, the fourth vaccination, so we shall do it. But the feeling is far from universal. Protesters flock to the center of Tel Aviv to denounce new coronavirus restrictions that include a return of the green passport system, which requires proof of vaccination to participate in public life. Which requires proof of vaccination to participate in public life. Which requires proof of vaccination to participate in public life. People of Israel and the people of the world have their sovereignty, and they're the ones to decide whether they want to get any medical treatment on their body, yes or no. Each person has their own reasons. We have our sovereignty. We're the ones to decide. Third vaccinations and a return to green passport restrictions come as Israeli scientists say the current vaccine is much less effective against new virus mutations like the Delta variant, as well as indications that the vaccine's effectiveness could drop off over time. So, yeah, this is going on around the world. It's purposely and intentionally induced insanity. You can't fall for the trap. You just just don't partake. Be separate from it. Even if you find yourself in the middle of it, the spirit of the living God, if Christ be in you, 
will keep you separate in the very palm of his hand. And you'll know what to do. You just will. Don't be tempted into this carnal, flesh-driven rebellion because it can be hard to resist wanting to execute some judgment on some of these minions of Satan just witnessing the absolute evil that they're under, you know? You get involved with the worldly nonsense. You're in essence in friendship with the world, in the flesh, serving the serpent, the snake, you know, the one we never should have let in. You take in the bait, stepping right into the snare. It's essentially at enmity with God. You're against God when you do these things. Just trust in the word of God, which is Jesus Christ. Anyway... I'll leave links in the box. God bless you all. Peace and grace to you. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 